Tonight is June 24th, 2016. This is the second video on the build of this uh, Acrosound uh, amplifier, a stereo one. I really appreciate all of the uh, comments and suggestions you gentlemen have made. Uh, about One of them was about the under, possibly the uh, tra power transformer was a little bit undersized. I think it's going to be fine. I'm going to have to go with it. This one is um, 350 volts each side of center tap, or 700 volt center tap on the uh, schematic that Acrosound posted is 375 volts each side, but then they used a um, vacuum tube rectifier. I'm not going to use a vacuum tube rectifier. That just doesn't make sense to me. That went out 60 years ago. Um, besides, you'd throw off the symmetry. Where would I put it? I'm not going to do that. <clears throat> so what I'm really doing right now is modeling it. Um, making sure I have plenty of room. Now, I've still left the uh, plastic cover on. Some people leave it on, some people take it off. All the times I take it off, because I can remove these marks from a uh, magic marker here that I use to mark it up. I, I measure, I lay it out physically, and then I, and I mark it up, and then I start using, uh, you know, real measuring instruments and, and T-squares and all the other things that you use to, to make it really truly uh, symmetrical. I've got a pair of 5881s in it right there, so I've got lots of room. These are not 6SL and 6SN, but they're the same physical size. Here's a pair of KT80, or, excuse me, KT66s, so I've still got plenty of room for that. <clears throat> I just want to model it with it, uh, several different tubes, and what I'm basically basically going to model it after over here on this side. I'll lay this out tomorrow, and once I start drilling the holes, I'll make another short uh, I'll make another short posting of a video of how I go through that, remove the burrs, etc. Uh, I do have some very nice little labels here that I printed on an aluminum, a metalized type. Uh, paper that will go on here when I'm through, but I'm not going to put them on yet, you know, to make the transformers look really nice, right in the middle. I've got the transformers oriented, so I get a minimum amount of uh, AC hum from the power transformer, as I showed in another video, and fortunately that worked out such that the plate leads face this way and this way so the plate leads will hook into here this one will hook into here this one will drive the pair this one drives this one and this one drives the pair over here this one drives this one and this one drives the pair so that's the way it is the side layout right here is going to be pretty much like this uh, Macintosh amp right here you know, two uh, left and right output post, left and right adjustments, left and right inputs. Be a little bit simpler than this because I won't have this stereo twin amp mono uh, thing right here, but it'll have two and two and two in this order. And they've been very good about making this the left channel, this the right channel, you know, left channel, right channel. They did it, and I'm going to do the same thing. Left left and right, left and right, all that kind of stuff. I'll, I'll make it symmetrical as best I can. Okay, well I think that's all. As far as removing, like I said, you know, I'll show you this. This is just my way of doing it. Uh, whether you leave the uh, plastic cover on and mark it up that way and, and start your drilling is one thing. There is a point you do have to take it off because you have to re remove the burrs from every one of these holes. And that can be more of a challenge with the plastic on. But I have a number of, let's see, a number of uh, solvents right here. I use acetone. I use methyl alcohol. Trichloroethane. I use the more alcohol. Even uh, chloroform. I get a lot of this stuff at uh, estate sales. And uh, I know that some of them are probably pretty scary, but if you if you're cautious and you've got good sense and 
can wear uh, rubber gloves, which I do have a number of down here. So, you know, when you build it, the first objective is to stay alive. The second objective is uh, not just alive, but don't get hurt. You know, a power transformer like this, this thing can really ruin your day. It'll hurt your feelings. You'll think this thing is your friend. You love it. It's your passion. And you get across this thing and you will find out that it does not love you. It will hurt you, maybe even kill you. So be careful, have fun, enjoy it, and uh, be safe. Well, that's it for right now. And that's the layout. Here, here's another little amp I've shown before. It's just a gorgeous little thing. But see how they did it. They have the input here, an output here. Very simple. It's a little Fisher Model 70A. And uh, the uh, frequency response on it is just marvelous, especially in the low frequencies. And I'm expecting to get similar results from this one. Very good low frequency response, very nice and tight, and all the way down to 10 hertz. And uh, this one right here is really not exceptionally well over 10 kilohertz, although it just sounds like a, if I could, I'm not a musician, but I would assume it sounds, I use the uh, term, it sounds like a Stradivarius to me, meaning, you know, it's just, it's very nice and smooth. So that's the layout right now, and um, tomorrow I'll start drilling some holes. I'll make another short posting of how I drill the holes and deburr them and uh, that kind of stuff. So let's uh, wait until then before I uh, get into much discussion of that. Thanks for watching and commenting.